We're also taking a closer look at a few key issues, uh, the candidates' positions on the issues that really matter most to voters in this country. Today, we're going to be talking about same-sex marriage, where the candidates stand and how each campaign is getting the message out. John Roberts is live in Atlanta with more. John? Hey, good afternoon to you, Jenna. Of course, President Obama back in May had a change of heart. He came out firmly in support of marriage equality for gays and lesbians that energized the gay and lesbian lobby in this country, as well as Hollywood, which have been showering him with accolades and tens of millions of dollars in campaign cash. But in just the last hour, a coalition of African-American pastors came out to heap scorn upon the president, saying they are firmly opposed to his position on same-sex marriage, and they are urging African-Americans not to vote for him in November. Here's what Reverend William Owens said just a few minutes ago. He has not done a smart thing and it might cost him the election. He did it because of money and he thinks that there are more black people, there are more people who are Christians, there are more people right. that, that want marriage to be right than there are homosexuals, I assure you, in this country. Now, Reverend Owen said while he's urging people not to vote for the president in November, he will not encourage them to vote for Mitt Romney. As for Mitt Romney, his challenge may be in November to convince conservatives that he is rock solidly against same-sex marriage. As governor of Massachusetts, he said he was against gay marriage, but he briefly entertained the idea of civil unions when the st state Supreme Court ordered the state to go ahead with same-sex marriages. So there are a lot of conservatives still anxious about where Romney really stands. But uh, for the national National Organization for Marriage, Brian Brown, who's the president of that, says he firmly believes that Mitt Romney is in the right place. Here's what he told us. If you go back to Massachusetts, some people want to say, no, no, he wasn't strong on the issue. If you actually look at what he did, he stood up for a state constitutional amendment. He's always said he knows in his heart, he knows that marriage is the union of of a man and a woman. It's in the best interest of uh, his state and it's best interest of the country. Now, Brown also complains that many Republicans don't want to touch this issue in the campaign because he says it is so divisive. So ironically, it may be the split in the Democratic Party that drives this forward as a wedge issue in this campaign. Jenna? That could be an interesting twist. Now, 98 to, eight days before the election, a lot certainly to talk about. John, thank you very much. John Roberts 